If you had to choose between saving human lives right now or preserving the environment for future humans to thrive, which would you choose? For the past couple of centuries, humans have been battling the Earth's temperatures while also modernizing the world and advancing technology. In response to climate change, we've been trying to decrease carbon footprints, but there's still so many industries and products that damage the environment due to mass production and pollution. One of these is the medical industry. Hospitals are currently producing 14,000 tons of waste per day, 25% of which is plastic waste in the form of one-time use devices or the plastic things around those that keep them sterile. Although these instruments are necessary to save lives, the plastic pollution they cause alters natural habitats, reduces the Earth's ability to mitigate climate change, spreads toxins, wildlife, fortunately, so much more. Now, I once again pose the question to you all. Should we prioritize the health of the environment or the health of humans? As a student interested in medicine and doing research on this area, I say that we don't have to make this almost impossible decision. Because if the technologies that are currently being produced succeed, which includes non-plastic alternatives, we might just be able to save the planet and those living in it. The medical industry is one of the biggest contributors to plastic waste. It fills up landfills and releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Hospitals produce 5.9 million tons of waste every year in the United States, which would equal about 33 pounds of waste per day per hospital patient just in the US. In addition, 8% of the hospital's total waste production is made of materials. This is because these materials have been in contact with bodily fluids and could therefore have the potential to spread many blood-borne infections such as Ebola virus, HIV, or even virus. This makes medical waste extremely difficult and expensive to dispose of, and consequently, the cost of what management accounts for about 25% of the United States healthcare spendings, which would range from $735 billion. Aside from the consequences to the environment, medical waste is also one of the factors that contribute to health inequities, which according to the National Library of Medicine is defined as the absence of un unfair, avoidable, or remediable differences amongst groups of people and measured by preventable illness care and reduce life expectancy in disadvantaged groups. Waste produced globally is 2.01 billion tons, and that number is only estimated to increase over the next few years. But how can we even think about decreasing that number if one of our biggest and most essential industries is generating a big chunk of that waste? Currently, the disposal of most medical waste is incinerated or sterilized using a pressurized air and steam machine called an autoclave. Still, the ideal way to decrease plastic pollution would be to find to create an alternative to plastic and medical devices. A sustainable manufacturing company has recent devel recently developed a carbonate or a bioplastic that could replace the traditional plastic and medical devices. This company has created starch and agricultural products to create a biodegradable plastic material that could be used in medical instruments. The natural material used to make uh, bioplastic allows for polymer degradation, which means it can be broken down in any moist environment. Recently, I have also been working on a similar project I have, where I have been prototyping a medical syringe bioplastic. I have just begun the prototyping process, and I have been testing. And I have been testing multiple different biodegradable plastic materials, such as cornstarch bioplastic, starch methicellulose, tapioca starch bioplastic, as well as others. And hopefully, in the near future, I can have a final product that helps to address the issue of plastic pollution. I began this project after learning about all of the money being allocated into the disposal of medical waste that could have been used to provide treatment and healthcare for those who need it. 
And hopefully, if I'm able to successfully put my device in the market, I plan on alloc allocating part of my profit to organizations that help people battling illnesses receive the treatment they need. In the creation of this project, I have learned a lot about bioplastics, antimicrobial coatings, and even biomedical engineering. And I hope to learn more about patenting, uh, production factors, product life history, and performance requirements. And one lesson that I'm taking away from this project is that efforts to decrease plastic pollution should not rely solely on groups coming to solve this, issue, this problem. It should also be about individual people doing their best to address this issue and make their mark on the world. The invention of this technology, as well as other similar technologies, have the ability to change our strategies about how to decrease plastic pollution. In addition to changing human behavior, we can now also focus on developing science mechanisms and technologies um, to combat the climate crises and decrease medical waste. This will contribute to our long-term goal of decreasing the buildup of plastics in the environment. So even though it may seem hopeless at times, we may still have a chance at combating the climate crises, saving our planet and those living in it. Thank you.